Ugh, probably they, they play a bit of manpower. Yeah, um, Demonite, the uh, Plague Demonite, Plague Pyro, Vampire Pyro, Heavy Vampire. Oh yeah, Spy Regen. Uh, Spy Haste as well is pretty OP. Yes. No, no, I need to do damage in order to stay alive. Damn it. Okay. I guess it gives Twitch more time to encode it and shit for people with bad connections and stuff. I guess the grappling hooks can kind of teach out to be hop in a way. Unlucky! The enemy intelligence has returned to their bases. I can have that one alive. Whoop! Yeah. Oh, no power up just yet. Yes. Listen. Ah. One of the main problems with having delay on means I can't exactly tell, like, where in the video you are.
Well. I mean, I guess one thing to, I can do is stream the video at the same time, but I can't exactly control the quality on my uh, phone. Yeah, I only have one monitor, so I can't exactly have to ch uh, chat open and have a display. Or even then, that monitor's my TV. No, oh, fuck you, fuck you. I'm not having that shit. Uh, switch me up on the losing team one, don't you? Ah, fuck it. Fucking... Nope. I'm out. Supersonic races are shit. Damn it. Oh, regeneration pyro. Ah, uh, not that bad. been so bad if I hadn't fell on the fucking wall though. Damn it. I mean I would go for Justinator as well because mini crits but it's not actually that useful uh, when there's not that many people. Yeah. Was wedding, then it got put in, and I got put in bed too. Oh well. Hey Kerry, you still watching? 35 seconds later. Oh yeah, Pagan, I have YouTube as well, and uh... I was going to start putting content off there of Danganronpa, a game which has come up on Steam, but um, 
every time I upload a video I get a copyright strike on it. Now, I managed to get rid of it, uh, but it was, it was a monetization one. And I know, like, you know, I'm doing it for fun, should we do it for the money? Um, but it's just annoying because if I can get a monetization strike, they could probably get the video strike on it. I just don't really want to... I, like, I, d I don't want to have anything blocked, really. Ooh, generation. Yeah, if you want to know more about my, pardon me, myself, I'm using a uh, Mac Mini H2012, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, Intel HD 4000 integrated graphics, uh, an i7 2 bloody bar series uh, mobile CPU. Uh, the monitor I'm using is a fucking TV of all things, um, as it's 1080p. Uh, what else? Uh, the stuff I'm using, I'm using a Logitech G300 mouse. Uh, my keyboard, I'm not really certain, it's a off-brand one. Oh, well, that was bullshit. Ugh, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, fucking bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. There's no way to combat it. Spawn camping. Kill them! Slaughter them like dogs! I 
find it's much too easy to spawn camp on this map. Thank you, Jimbo. <laughs> Fucking shut up. I thought you were, uh, you were going anyway. I thought you spam Kappa in the chat. I'm allowed to get salty. There's no such thing as hell. If hell is such a bad place, then, uh, you know, why do people want to go there? Oh, so B hops. Alert. The enemy has taken our intelligence.
No, I don't like playing spy. It won't be that useful because I've got a pyro as well. The thing is, though, nobody's voting yes. Not even my own fucking team members are voting yes. So I don't know what's going on. I mean, it, it fucking shows when we haven't gotten able to get a single capture. They've got four people, and look at their fucking score. You know, it just kind of fucking shows. Like, when they've got two people permanently on the fucking spawn cam. Like, there's pretty much no tactic besides pure fucking luck. No doubt the pyro's gonna get the uh, fucking vampire. He's gonna walk out here now and he's gonna have the vampire above his head. No, because the thing is then, I have a problem with leaving because I don't think I'm rage quitting or anything. Like, you won't be surprised the amount of people who I've seen be absolute bastards. But like I said, it, I just don't get it. I just don't fucking get it. Like, why be a dick if you've got all these strategies? Why are you doing them on here, of all things? He's dead. He's soon to be dead. Oh sweet, he finally joined us. No doubt he's going to try and join Blue because they're fucking winning. Alert. The enemy has taken our intelligence. The enemy has dropped our intelligence. Great, and now there were two. Yeah, you'd be the surprise the amount of people who have um, not agreed with me when I said games are for fun. Because I'm going to say, then, like, what's all these modes for? They're like, competitive and shit. Oh great, we've got two fucking tryhards. Oh, they've got the two fucking... Yeah, the two tryhards versus the people who are just, you know, playing the game. And he just fucking leaves. He's just like, yeah, fuck it, you know. Fucking decide to uh, spawn camp him and then look at me now.
Yeah, just fucking leave. Yeah, I don't know. Competitive came after normal TF2. But, like, but then there's like other games like CSGO and stuff, and like League of Legends. Like, I want to play League of Legends for fun. I'm like, I'm not touching that game anymore now. I'm not going to touch that game until I have two monitors, because apparently there's optimum builds and stuff. Like, there was this one character, like, she was like this half goat woman, blood, blah, blah, whatever. And, like, she had this, like, a, like, AoE ability. I was like, oh, like, if I could get, like, tons of AP boot, like, buffs, like, this would be good. My friend told me no, that isn't how you do it. And tons of people told me no. Yet the fucking next day I see on the thing, like, you know, oh, best, uh, AP build for, um, this character. And people are using it. And they're like, what the fuck? just toxic communities like that, where the focus is on, you know, trying to get the most out of something, and it's just like, they actually suck their own dick, just like doing bullshit, underhand tactics. And then they complain whenever it gets patched out, and then they have to add it back in again because the people are complaining. Like, I know there's some things which take skill, but there's some which are just like, yeah, that's a bit dodgy. Like, if you are the only person who can do that, then there's something wrong. Yeah, my, my, my like, philosophy on the internet is, um, don't be a dick, because there's no point being a dick. Like, if you want to get your socks off making people feel bad, then, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, just go fuck yourself, essentially, because it's the internet. Yes, you could hide behind an, a wall of anonymity, and if you want to do that, go on 4chan. Nobody gets insulted on 4chan, because it's 4chan. But if you go on, like, other other places, like Twitch and all that, and just, like, just make people's days worse, and you you want to, don't. Because how would you fucking like it if someone made you feel bad? And then, of course, there's the arguments I get into where it's like... So here in the UK, we've got the whole problem of immigration and refugees, and... In my college, someone said, we'll just blow up the ships. So I said to him, okay. Um, and I had this whole scenario put out in front of him where he's one of the refugees. If he stays in his country, he's going to die no matter what. So, like, he's got his family and everything, right? Um, and, like, he's got to take, like, look after them. Would he stay and fight and die or try and go somewhere better? And it was, it's just, he was so fucking stupid. Because it was like, no, I'll, I'll, like, I'll stay, you know, and, you know, fight. Like, okay, uh, there's people already doing that, you know? And let's say, and I told him, okay, so let's say Scotland wants to take over the UK. Yeah, that sounds absurd, but, you know, like, um, Israel's taken over Palestine, so not really that absurd. Um, I told him, okay, so what if Scotland takes over the UK? And he's like, they'll never do that. And I said, no, what if? A hypothetical scenario. And, like, he just didn't listen. I, I said, I said, um, so, like, so, they've taken over the UK, like, they've taken over where you live, and, like, your life's at risk. Now, would you leave the UK and go somewhere else, you know, somewhere better for a chance of living, or just stay and, you know, get killed? And he said, no, I'll fight back. And I, was, and I said, but then you'll become a terrorist. And he said, yeah, I don't care, I'm fighting back because it's my country. And it's just, he's saying that. And then he, he just doesn't realise that that's what everyone else is doing. They're just trying to live. <sighs> it's just so fucking stupid of it. <sighs> it's just... Whenever, whenever I try to put hypothetical situations in front of people, it just... I just don't listen. And it's making me become more fucking passive-aggressive in real life. It means, like, whenever someone has an argument or something, I, I'm completely avoiding the point because I'm used to it now. Used to other people doing it. And I hate it. Like, I, I love arguments. Like, I love arguments, and I don't mind losing them. But I don't mind losing them as long as the other side hasn't tried to do an underhand tactic. Like, just just walk away and said, no, I win. Like, if they, if they walk away and say that they've won, like, they haven't won. But then, of course, like, they'll be adamant. That isn't an argument. That was an argument. I, I don't like losing them because they're just being so bloody arrogant. But if it was, but if it's like a debate almost, like, and I lose it, they're on them. They had better points. But if they, but if they just don't ignore everything one side says, if someone ignores what the other side says, that isn't an argument. You, you, you're, it's just selective hearing. 
that you're just preaching what you want and just having selective hearing. That isn't an argument. An argument is listening to both sides of the conversation and having good points. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and then there's a the whole stupid thing where he, where he said for like the solution to um, you know, the solution in the UK is to just get rid of all Muslims. And so I said to him, like that all Muslims and immigrants. And so I said, okay, so what if you've converted to a Muslim? Oh well, you can stay. And I said, well, there's people who've converted to Islam and um, you know done terrorist acts, or even they can go. Okay, uh, and immigration. How long do you have to be in the UK before you, like, in order to stay? Uh, I don't know. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, how, how many generations? Four. He literally just picked a number out of a hat, essentially. He said, you need to have four generations in the UK. You need to be, have been in the UK for four generations in order to stay. And it's just so fucking absurd. And there's, and then there's always people saying, like, oh, the housing crisis, uh, da, da, because of the immigrants. No, 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 no. Isn't because of that, because some some people literally cannot get off their fat ass. Like there's some people who've got like fucking fifty three inch flat TVs. Like I'd sell for what thirty inch maybe, like like thirty forty inch TV. Like that's what I've got in front of me right now. Sell for that, save up all the other money, you know. Save it up, you know, go to college, whatever. You know, pay for like pay for food for the kids and stuff. And just go just go buy one that maybe like one console. You know, two, like a TV for every room, but not like an over-the-top one. There's just so many, th just so many things. And because of a stream delay, I can only respond now. Yeah, he is a Hitler. <laughs> In uh, college the other day, um, we had this thing, like, what would you spend our national budget on? And he just outright said, I'll spend all of it on, on defence. And there was other stuff as well, like there was any, like health, so our National Health Service, education, policing, housing, all, all this other stuff. He said, no, he'll put every single fucking penny into defence. And so it's like, it's like, like, so for what, what my group did, we agreed that we'd put, I think it was either 25 or 20 pounds, like, like, like we had 100 pounds to spend, like, you know, that's like proportional. Um, and so I think we agreed to have put 25 or 20 pounds both into education and defence. Because you'd much rather have smart idiots running around with guns than complete idiots running around with guns. But the thing is, like, he's studying IT and he wants to do PE, like physical education. He wants to be a coach. And it's, it, it just amazes me. And if there's like other stuff, like his work, for example, like he doesn't spell check it or anything. He actually goes through and clicks ignore on every single little spelling mistake. I've offered to proofread his work for him. He's denied it. And like, yes, he's getting distinctions and stuff like that, but I'm surprised he is because he does them drunk. He has admitted that he does them not sober. So he's doing them drunk. Some sentences don't make sense. And it's just absolute fucking bullshit. Oh, it's quarter to one in the morning for me now. So I'm gonna end the stream and I don't know, get a drink. If you wanna to talk to me on Steam you can, but uh Yeah. Anyway, see you later today, technically tomorrow. Goodbye.